Welcome to Lab Matters. I'm your host, Paul Roberts. I'm an editor at ThreatPost.com and a security evangelist here at Kaspersky Lab. And today we're going to be speaking with Andre Negeshin, who's the director of cloud and content technologies here at Kaspersky about security in the cloud. Andre, welcome. Thank you very much, Paul. So I guess to start off, when we're talking about cloud in, in, the, in the context of security, what are we, what are we really talking about? You know, actually, you know, I do believe that most of you remember, and you definitely remember, old good uh, client-server technology. Mm -hmm. It's uh, almost the same, but server puts away in the cloud, in the internet. Usually, internet is, uh, you know, drawing as a cloud, some, some clouds, and because of that, uh, client-server, modern cloud-server technology called cloud, uh, cloud technologies, okay. yeah, because they put some way in the cloud. And it's, uh, from technological point of view, from technical point of view, it's almost the same. Client, server. So the server client continues to run on your computer, laptop, desktop, mobile device, but the server component is hosted on the internet. Yeah, correct. And the advantages? Uh, you don't need to put all of the technology, all of the pieces of code on your very small devices. So you know currently you've got iPad, I've got iPad, they get not so sophisticated CPU, for example. And uh, you don't need to install all of the security technologies in one very small device. On the other hand, we can put all very sophisticated, very complex technology in our servers because we've got almost unlimited CPU power on our side. And because of that, we can implement more sophisticated algorithms to combat threats. So we're used to antivirus software, for example, running on our endpoints, uh, running on our laptops, desktops. Um, how does the cloud impact how, you know, where security mm -hmm. software is running, how it works, and, and how it's delivered to customers? Mm -hmm. You mentioned you know, modern uh, antivirus solution, which includes in on-site uh, on approach. Uh, and, and, and opposite, uh, it's possible to use in the clouds, in the cloud approach, then all of the protection technologies uh, host on server somewhere in cloud, and you've got very, very light client on your PC, and client send piece of that data to the uh, cloud, and cloud decided, is it malicious or not, suspicious or not, and reply you with verdict. Th that's a purely cloud. Why? Why it's better than uh, Know, on site technologies because uh, you don't need to get any updates. So you would be instantly update, mm -hmm. updated because we update, we industry, we Kaspersky, we update our in the cloud databases almost instantly. And you will be uh, protected as soon as we update our uh, in the cloud databases as our all, uh, rest of our customers. On the other hand, if you do not have internet, what to do? We cannot use purely in the cloud solution in this case because uh, there are some places in the world uh, without internet connections, unfortunately. So we uh, at Kaspersky, we utilize hybrid approach. Uh, then uh, some portion of uh, protection technology installed on site on your computer, on your mobile device, mm -hmm. and rest of the technology is very sophisticated, very complex, put in the cloud. Okay. So you will be protected in any case with internet or without internet. If you download it some thread from the internet or you bring your data stick and put it in your computer. Okay, so by having the processing, the heavy lifting mm -hmm. in uh, hosted on the internet, you're allowed to have a thinner, lighter endpoint client um, and that's gonna save your computer from having to do a lot of processing on its own just to detect threads. Um, is there any kind of benefits in terms of threat detection that comes from mm -hmm. putting the, the uh, server component into the, into the cloud? Definitely, as I mentioned, we save a lot of times on preparing database update and definitely on downloading database update by customers, mm -hmm. that's ours. And on the other hand, uh, we can utilize very sophisticated algorithm uh, to detect combat. And virus writers, uh, black, black guys, black hats, they can't understand our algorithm because they, uh, they are private. They store on our uh, internal servers. And in this case, we can you know, change our technology very rapidly and again, increase protection level for our customers. 
Should people be concerned about private information, personal information that is being transmitted up to the cloud um, as part of this service, or is it more or less anonymous data that you guys are sending back and forth? Definitely no, they do not need any, do not have any concerns because we do not transfer any private data. Mm -hmm. We transfer only digital fingerprints, mm -hmm. uh, and it is impossible, technically impossible, to reverse uh, from uh, fingerprints to back to the file to check the. To, to get the file uh, based on th fingerprints. So the, sa the same approach we utilize for not only for files, but for email, for example, mm -hmm. we got spam detection in the cloud. And definitely we cannot transfer all of the email, of the body of email to the cloud. It's a private data and we are uh, not allowed to do that. Okay, so more and more people are using applications that are hosted on the internet, mm -hmm. obviously social networking is an example, uh, online storage and so on. Um, where is the, how is the security companies like Kaspersky going to respond to that? So where is this going? What are we, as we look forward into the future, what, what types of features or products are we going to see that, that specifically mm -hmm. uh, secure mm -hmm. uh, cloud-based applications and infrastructure? You mentioned social network. It's a very good example of Web 2.0 resources. Uh, then I talked about uh, Web 2.0, I mean that content itself mm -hmm. depends on who asks for a can co content then and from there. Mm -hmm. And in this case, a hybrid approach again will help you because in this case we've got some uh, analysis, uh, analysis technologies on site on your computer mm -hmm. and then some unwanted content downloaded to your computer we can understand that content is unwanted by you and block it. That's, that's our approach. Okay, okay. And um, is this, because uh, you mentioned it's, it's a hybrid, so people need protection both when they're online and when they're offline. So you're saying the approach needs to be, you have, a, you have some stuff that's running locally and some stuff mm -hmm. that's cloud enabled. Um, right now, people have antivirus software, they have firewall, they have anti-spam. Mm -hmm. um, are these are all these products kind of moving to moving to the cloud? Um, uh, will we at some point have a purely cloud-based security product? Uh, purely cloud-based, uh, uh, we believe that purely cloud-based approach is not reliable mm -hmm. because uh, there are a number of threats, number of type of threats, mm -hmm. which leave the old internet, mm -hmm. and we have to protect against all threats also, like uh, file malicious software. Mm -hmm. They could be downloaded to your computer without any internet from uh, removable devices, for example, okay. or from a local, local intranet of the company or intranet in your home. That's why uh, only hybrid protection uh, could be used. Another example is anti-spam. To, uh, to reach the, the best result in detection rate of spam, we uh, have to analyze content of the message word by word, sentence by sentence. And in this case, as I mentioned earlier, we cannot send the content of the message to the cloud because of security measures. And uh, uh, to analyze the content, we use hybrid or on-site, mm -hmm. uh, some algorithm very light, and uh, which doesn't require any updates, frequent updates. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, only in uh, combining both approach uh, allows us to reach, you know, greatest uh, protection level. Okay, so you're a consumer, you're a small business, and uh, you want to take advantage of these cloud-based security offerings. How do you do it? It's very easy. You, uh, you have to participate in Kaspersky Security Network. Mm -hmm. There is a special checkbox, and then you switch checkbox. Yes, I uh, want to be a part of Kaspersky Security Network. You will be uh, protected immediately. Okay. And... Um I think that's all we have time for, but uh, uh, Andre, thank you very much for coming in and talking with Lab Matters. Uh, I'm your host, Paul, and uh, thanks very much for joining us. If you want to see other issues of Lab Matters, you can do that online at youtube.com slash secure list. And thanks very much for tuning in.